Hi there, in this video we're going to be talking about the third Gauss Markov assumption as I listed them in another video which is the zero conditional mean of errors assumption. So written mathematically that means that the expectation of my error given any of my independent given any of my independent variables x has to be equal to zero. So what do we mean by this and what are the consequences of it? Well, the consequences of it are that if this is no longer upheld, so the expectation of ui given xi does not equal zero, then that means that least squared estimators are biased. So what do we mean by biased? Well, a biased estimator is one for which the expectation of my estimator given my xi does not equal the population parameter. So remember that beta hat is not necessarily going to be equal to my population parameter because of the fact of sampling error, because of the fact that my sample won't necessarily represent exactly what's going on in the population. So I could draw this graphically. And uh, drawing it graphically, I could illustrate a sampling distribution like this. And it would be the case that the center of this sampling distribution, which is the expected value of my least squared estimator, would not be equal to the population parameter beta p. So in this circumstance, we have got this being upheld, which means that essentially my least squared estimators are going to be upwardly biased. So Let's think a little bit more about what this actually means or what it means for um, the expectation of ui given xi to be equal to naught. So this is if the Gauss-Markov assumption is upheld. Well, an another way of writing this is that the covariance of ui and xi has got to be equal to zero. Well, what does that mean? That looks like I've just replaced another bit of mathematical jargon with another bit. And it means essentially that so if I was to plot ui against xi, there should be no discernible relationship between the two. So there's no sort of line that I can draw simply which shows either sort of positive correlation, negative correlation, or any other type of correlation for that matter. There should be simply no correlation between the two variables. So this is probably the most important of the Gauss-Markov assumptions because there are a number of ways practically which this assumption can be violated and that's what the next few videos are going to be about.